Let's talk about fog. Fog is a cloud that forms in contact with the ground. Usually it's as air cools, air that's moist and cools. Little water droplets condense out of that into a whole bunch of them that obscure the visibility. We call that fog. Summer is not a very typical time for fog. It's so warm. But occasionally after a rain shower, or especially if hail has coated the ground, you'll get some fog. That we call a hail fog. As we get into October then, and the air cools more often, then we can tend to get more fog. For example, uh, we get fronts go by, and then we get clear, calm nights after that. It's those calm wind, weak wind situations that can be favorable for fog. The air cools at night then, and especially in October, the ground is still kind of warm. It gives off moisture, and lakes, streams, the water in them is warm also. So the air can be pretty moist even during those cool nights. And with the longer nights, as the sun gets lower in the sky, you can get longer amounts of cooling for that temperature to fall to the dew point. Now the dew point, that's a measure of the moisture of the air. You've seen that. If you take a, a glass of ice water, little droplets form on the outside of that. The temperature cools to the air's dew point, and that's what happens during the formation of fog. Typically, that's what occurs in what we call radiation fog. At night, clear skies, the heat that's been given uh, into the air during the daytime by the sunlight goes back out, the temperature falls, the heat escapes, and the moisture content remains the same, and so the air cools to that dew point and a fog forms. We call that ground fog, and of course, it can be pretty widespread and make for some tough drivings. Now, there's another situation, not due to cooling, but to adding of the moisture to the air, and that is especially favored in places that are in like near river valleys or stream valleys where the warm water gives off moisture into cool air. So it's a moistening process that forms the fog. We call this a mixing fog or a steam fog. And it makes it particularly dangerous. You're driving down the road and all of a sudden you come to a bridge and right there is where you get the fog. So that's some of the background behind fog and how it forms. Drive carefully.